Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Intrepid Dawn. Captain Katarn here. Let's get started. You guys are only about five to six seconds behind me in live because I'm using a little bit faster coding in tech. Uh, so this should be fun today. So here we are. We're in Star Citizen Alpha 3.3. This is on the uh, test server now for all backers. It's not, quote, live. But keep in mind, even the live environment is a test environment. So you can play this just like these guys are right here with me. I thought today it would be kind of fun if we got some uh, if we got some fighting in. So I want to do some dog fighting and do some mercenary missions. And to do it, there's two ships that we're going to look at. One of them is the Mustang Gamma, which is a... Uh, it's it's only sold once a year, so it'll be coming up pretty soon here in the, uh, in the anniversary sale. You'll be able to get one. It's an upgrade of the Mustang that is specifically set up to... Uh, to be a dogfighter. I'm sorry, Mustang Delta, hopefully. That's the one I put all my stuff on, Mustang Delta. Here it is, Light Fighter. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, retrieve that, and I'm gonna go do some mercenary missions. To the following landing pad. And then we'll, we'll take a look at how that is, and if that's if that's too difficult, or I'm finding that the ship is a limitation, I'm gonna go over to the Saber Comet to show you what a fully upgraded, you know, top of the tier, once you've, uh, once you've got to the top, uh, combat ship can be like with all its upgrades and things like that because i can pull since we're in the ptu i can pull all of the upgrades off of the various uh other ships that i have here since they're giving me all the ships i essentially have all the components to mix and match on there to make my perfect ship now here's the rework of the mustang and this thing looks fantastic so if you're interested in getting into the game there's a link in the description use my referral code you'll get some free alpha uec in the game you can see that I've refitted this. So I've refitted this with laser repeater cannons on all the wings and everything else. We have four size one cannons. I mean, they are still toothpicks, but they should do a little bit of damage because I'll have them all tracking in the same location. And here you can kind of see the skin of it. It's got that, uh, it's got that racing or that military inspired look with a little, little bit of carbon fiber. It looks, looks really good. Uh, pretty satisfied with it. I'm I'm almost 100% sure this one carries no cargo. Uh, it is just a bare bones uh, light fighter. So let me uh, let me see if I can turn up my voice. I'm not sure if I can. One second. All right. So how's that? Is that better? I'm not sure which one is the mic. So uh, testing one two. How we doing? Is that better? Let's go ahead and open that up. So you guys can see that there is a cockpit that opens up here. Very nice, very standard. Thank you very much, Dnick. Uh, enter the pilot seat. Go ahead and do that. All right, how's the audio level now? All right, so here we are. So one of the things that the Mustang retains from the original design was the open look of the cockpit, which I've always thought was pretty cool. So let's come down here. You can see that it, it's flashing, so it lets you know where to go. But instead, I want to turn on my power, so let me find that. Power on. Welcome. Okay. Your journey begins now. All systems operational. All right, looks pretty good. So we've got our power on, and now we can go ahead and switch on the engine. Systems enabled. All right, let's launch. Oh, jeez. I don't know why it would do that. I guess maybe the thrusters are located in different places. All right, it's straight up. Let's go third person so you can see this. This is a beauty. You know, it's got the it's got the wheels so it could land uh, practically anywhere. You know, it's it's got the wings that fold up. Now watch what happens whenever I put the landing gear down. This will be the cool part. You can see my character there flying the ship. All right, so we're retracting the landing gear. Wings come down, and the wings are actually important. Everyone keeps saying these are space planes. We have planets, and we have atmospheres, and the ships that have the ability to actually generate lift with their surfaces will fly a sh shoot ton better than the uh, ships that don't. So that's that's what's going on here. You can kind of see what we have. All right, pretty cool. Uh, let me know. How's the voice? Got a... Ha nobody said anything yet. I'm a little concerned. I don't know. Maybe my... Uh... Hang on a second. Maybe my... Thing cut out. Let me just double check. Oh, see, yeah, I was having a problem because my, my chat stopped updating, which is not good. Give me a second to pop the chat out in the new window. I kept I kept asking because I didn't see on my chat that anyone had said anything. So we'll pop that out. 
and throw it up here. Two seconds, I'll be right back. Hopefully we don't die or get killed in the meantime. All right, it does look like a jet. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So here we are. Oh, got to hit that again to get control back. There we go. Okay, because if, if you come into the cockpit and you press Z once, then you can look around with the joystick, and I can I can really see myself and what's going on here. Pretty neat. If I hit Z again, I'm back to cockpit control. Let me also lock all my gimbals. And the other thing I want to do is I want to look at my screens here and go into my guns. And I want to make sure that all of my guns... I don't know what this Jericho XL is. That's interesting. I think those are my missiles. Okay. I want to make sure that all of my guns are in the same position now this is the this is the old flight model so this thing can turn on a dime and everything there's there's there you go all right i just need to make sure that i have the gimbals locked there we go now they are which means that wherever my ship is pointing forward all, all the weapons are going to converge on that spot that's how i like to play all right let's just test the mobility everything looks good all right, let's all stop here and let's go ahead and take a mission. So let's let's dive right into it. I want to increase as much as I can before the next patch comes out. I want to increase my mercenary rating to see if I can get a mission from Miles Eckhart. So we'll go down here to our contracts manager. All right, appointment, available contract offer with Redo Battaglia. I'll accept that. I only get like 11 minutes to get there. I don't know if that's going to be enough time. So I've accepted that. I think he's uh, he's the guy to go to. So we know from from last time that we have to we have to hustle our asses to get there. And he's at uh, Delmar. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll set that route. All right. Great. Let's go ahead and get our. Oh, please tell me that this thing has. I, I will freak out if this thing does not have a quantum drive. I would think that it does, but it keeps... Okay. I, I, do you guys know if this thing has a quantum drive? I, I think it does, but it's uh, it's not working for me. Maybe, maybe it's beyond the range of what I can jump. That's also possible. This is a small fighter. I'm going to go put this down by uh, killing myself real quick. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Please. I'm just trying to get it to kill me. Kill me! Oh no. Because I figure if I, if I hurry up and uh, die, I can spawn that saber that I already have ready to go that I know can do everything. And so I'd rather do that. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm trying my best to kill myself and it's, it's not working very well. Okay, so here's what I need to do. I need to get out of this thing. Because I can shoot myself very quickly once I'm in EVA. Alright, just give me two seconds. I know this is kind of funny. There we go. It has been done. Alright, we'll wake up really quickly. We'll grab a saber and we will, we will fly. There. All right, let's go. All right, I'm going to I'm going to make him run and get his heart rate elevated cuz I don't have time to wake. Out of my way, out of my way. I got an appointment with the crime boss. Let's go. All right, ship retrieval console. Let's grab the Aegis Saber comet. And I say Aegis, Aegis is probably correct. Your ship has been delivered to the I'm American. I can butcher the language. Alright, D07. You'd expect nothing less, right? And I know the gall would be uh gall would be teasing me for that. Try to mark the route again. Yeah. So the best laid plans of mice and men, right? Alright, so somebody has requested transportation to Grim Hex. 
and you can pick up those contracts and actually pick up and rescue players or do things like that. The contract system will be expanding. Let's go ahead and hurry up and get in this. So this is the saber. We'll look at it when we're in quantum. I don't have time to piss around right now. We, we got a, a date with the crime boss who's not going to wait for me. So flight ready. Let's go. All right. Landing gear retracted. Full speed. Hey, there's my dust, the, my melt, uh, my dust, I can't even speak, Mustang. All right, here we go. Uh, wait, wh what is he over here? Why is that not showing up for me? Okay, that's weird. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can get him. Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. Obi-Wan news to be true. Hey, Daniel Kripko is now a member of the, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm saying that right now. He's now a member of the Intrepid community. Welcome and thank you. Here we go. Spooling complete. Quantum travel. Quantum travel. Let's take a look at this ship. So this is the Saber Comet. This is a uh, alternate version of the Saber. I really wish they hadn't so sold this as a separate ship since it's exactly the same as the uh, rest of the Saber. It just has a different markings on it. Like this has UEE and this kind of like uh, digital camouflage kind of thing. I mean, overall, it's the same, but what, what makes the Sabre such a kick-ass fighter is that it has four level three guns. They can, be, uh, they can be placed on it and tracked together, so it is both fast and very well armed. Uh, it does not have very high armor, but it has very high shielding, so it basically has three, or at least in the past, had three shield generators, so if you kept your shields up, you were in good position. Now, something like a Hornet has a lot of ballistic weapons, Typically, in ballistic weapons, chew through shields. So it was always vulnerable. So you never wanted to be under sustained fire. It'll be interesting to see with the rework where this ends up in terms of, uh, in terms of all that. Alright. We made it. Let's go ahead and clear the route. Alright, so where am I supposed to meet him? Does it say? There it says meet him here. So that's probably also where fingers crossed we didn't crash come on all right we're just loading all right that's probably also where levski is yep so i just need levski to i need levski to show up for me there we go calibrating and quantum system this ship is state of the art you can see how quickly it does everything this is not a new ship no uh the saber has been out for a long time it's, it, it, I think in my opinion, it's the premier dog ship, dog, dog fighting combat ship. Um, but we're going to, we're going to hurry the hell up and try to get there. I don't, I don't have time to screw around. The good news is that this thing is ridiculously fast and, uh, the thrusters right now, because all of them are, are really overpowered. So I should be able to stop very quickly once we get there, but I am going to like full power this in to Levski. <laughs> I'm going to piss off a lot of people as I buzz their ships. Here we go, so you can see that we're 30 kilometers away and closing fast, we're moving at 1.2 kilometers per hour, or 1.2 thousand kilometers per hour. We will be there in no freaking time at all. Now it's all about getting down and getting in to find this uh, this Rico guy before it, before it expires. Basically, he's got a job and he's not gonna wait for me. Okay, eight kilometers out, coming down here. You can see there's no loading screen so far. How cool is that? And there won't be any other than my loading screen to get into the game. Everything loads in the background. All right, I'll stop. All right, looks like he is uh, on the bottom level of Levski. Okay, I need a... Hey there, on behalf of the People's Alliance, welcome... Levski, name's Eslin. I run the hangar. Shut up, Eslin. Great for you I'm in a hurry. Look in the land. Yeah, you think so? You got anything for me? What do you What do you got? You're killing me, Eslin. Let's go. Ah, screw it. Screw off. All right, I don't have time for that. Plan B, just like before, if you watched my stream earlier. Proximity alert. 
We don't need a freaking landing pad. We don't need your permission to set the ship down. Proximity alert. Deck. Proximity alert. Head. Landing gear go. deployed. Landing complete. All right. Let's hurry up and get out of here. So I'm going to turn off the power. Weapon systems offline. Jump out. I don't have time to I don't have time to deal with their bullshit today. <laughs> I I don't know what you're talking about. They're it, Titans? What do you mean by Titans? Oh, 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 we got somebody else coming out. Let me take his airlock. So perfect. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to meet with a con with a, uh, a, purve a purveyor of uh, fine goods and spirits. We're running. We're running. We're going to make it. We're going to be a mercenary, damn it. Do customs. Go, 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 go. Hopefully he doesn't want any ships that have a cargo hold. If he does, I have a, I have a backup plan. But I did pull a lot of stuff off of uh, other ships, so I have to be really careful which ships I decide to use, since they uh, they don't all have components on them anymore. All right, so here we are. Let's hurry up. I think this guy was just here, so that probably means this elevator's here, which is why I came over. Get out, dude. Get out. We're going to the Grand Barter. All right, there he is. He's over there. We're getting closer. We're gonna meet this uh, Reco dude. Oh, that's interesting. He's in a part of the station I've never been to. All right, we're running. We're running. <laughs> that's a that's a Dave reference if you know the old comedy, political comedy. Avenger Titan. Yeah, I remember the Titans. Aha! I've never been here before. Let's see what this is like. Oh, it's a chick. I'll make a point of knowing who to. What brings you around? Fuck. I think I think we missed it. If this guy took it before me, can I? I can't. I can't shoot him here. Damn it! I hope I bugged him. Ah, then you'll be wanting to see me. Oh shit! I see to the boring, fizzly bits for most of the miners work in the area. Dig site claims, equipment orders, or transfers. And I'm, try, I'm trying to bug his mission. Most I'm being a dick. The terminal will set you up, but if you're after something with a bit of hair on it, best to talk to me direct. Okay. If you'd like, I can see to setting you up with something now. Nothing too big, but it'll let us see how we feel about working together. Sound all right to you? Damn him! Damn him! <laughs> Great. I'll take a scan through now. Ah, uh, you. Asshole. This is what. The contract to you now. Seriously, we, we missed this by like 25 seconds. <laughs> yeah, the balance will always change, but those ships will be the best. Oh. Uh, damn, this guy doesn't need. I think somebody might have just killed my ship, by the way. I don't think I've seen your face around these parts before. Oh, cool. We get our fair bit of traffic, but I make a point of knowing who's who. Here we go. What brings you around? Here we go. I can actually pick it up. Ah, then you'll be wanting to see me. Name's Reco. I see to the boring, fizzly bits for most of the miners work in the area. Dig site claims, equipment orders, or transfers and the like. For most jobs, the terminal will set you up. But if you're after something with a bit of air on it, best to talk to me direct. I like the like, fact that I can see to setting you up with something now. Nothing yeah. too big, but it'll let us see how we feel about working together. Let's see she's got I'm some right cybernetics. Yeah. Got some cybernetics going on. Great. I'll take a scan through now. Uploading the contract to you now. All right, so that means that I have to look at it and accept it. Around. Uh, she uploaded me a contract, but I don't see it. When is it? Shit. I, I don't know. I may not get it because of uh, because of that dude stealing it from me. And I feel stealing it, because I, I kind of feel that we had it first. 
Damn it. Alright, we're gonna try to we're gonna try to go through her combat or her stuff again. Let's just make sure we're the only ones here. Okay. Let's see if I can get her to talk to me again. Oh no. She's not interested. Oh here we go. Wasn't sure if you'd be showing up again. Seems like you had a hiccup on that last job. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that was just a one time thing. Yeah, clearly. I, I, right. I apologize. Let's get down to business. Let's see what I can dig up. Yeah, give, give me something and let me know it's from you so that I don't like accidentally screw it up again. Unfortunately, things are a bit slow right now. I'll keep you in mind if anything turns up though. Damn it. I just got I just got the brush off because of that dude. Where is he? I'll grab this uh, gun. But also check her out. So this will be one of the ways that our characters can be outfitted in the verse. Like as you get hurt, you may end up with these cybernetics. Because there's going to be a version of a uh, permadeath system, but it's not 100% yet. So what I'm going to do is because I want that new contract when that guy fails, I'm going to hang out here at Levski for a little bit until then. So let's go and take a look at all the sites of Levski. So this is a new thing that I didn't... I've never really explored that part of the station, which is pretty cool. Usually when I come here, I go to the, the, grand, uh, the grand Barter. So we can actually slow down a little bit. I don't have to run. I need to draw any attention to myself. In fact, I could switch into my civilian clothes if I wanted to. All right. Do the EMP mechanics work in the game right now? They did in the last patch, so I would assume that they would in this one as well. And see that player's got his sand I, I call it sand people armor because that's what it reminds me of but it's it's interesting some people are way into that not so much for me you can kind of hear the ambience i don't know how well you guys can hear this but as i came in here it just it just sounds like it's alive down there with all with all the sound that's that's really nice the sound design in this is pretty cool All right, if you're having a good time, don't forget to hit the uh, thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do stuff like this all the time. What I really need, though, is a uh, is a clothing store. I don't know if that guy has a terminal or not. Let me run over here real quick. There's a guy that was selling clothes. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look like he has a terminal. Which is a shame, because I, I really want to buy some clothes, but I bought that jacket. Let me let me go ahead and equip that and show you guys while we're waiting, hopefully, for that guy to fail his mission so that we can swoop in. Okay, uh, we'll go into our equipment manager. You can see here, clothing. Got our undersuit. If I unequip the undersuit, I put on my regular clothing. And that's, that's my current face of my guy, because I have gray hair. <laughs> I'm only 35. I probably sound like I'm 15. I've got gray hair. It's it's a crazy thing. Let's see. So I can put on my my top hat and my monocle for being a concierge person, but I'm not going to be so uh, so vain today. So we have a shirt underneath. We have a jacket on top, and in this case, I bought this last stream and this uh, Tuvik outerwear Arctic. This actually looks really cool. This looks like something people would even wear today. So I find that to be pretty cool, but the the uh, thing is that it has this neat little heads-up display, little Judge Dredd style there, you know, uh, not bad. I don't think I have any different pants, unfortunately, and I definitely don't have any gloves yet. So that that's it, but uh, we're going to save those changes and equip. And now, whenever I put this down, we can actually take a look at my character. So you can see right now, I mean, that's that's the best I could do with the limited amounts that we have for uh, specialization. That's tr how I try to wear my hair, at least. And you can see all of that. Not bad. And one of the cool parts about Star Citizen is how they've done their tech. Let's see if I can... Uh, here. Watch, watch the uh, bottom of the jacket. I don't know if it's in yet, but they were showing us in uh, Squadron... Sorry, in the Star Citizen. Here we go. We'll do it like that. Yeah, see right now how it, like, it clips onto the pants, and so whatever you walk, it, it pulls that. And that's that's not the tech level that they're going for. They actually have it set up now that those will, those will sway independently of everything else. Um, once that goes in, that'll be pretty awesome, but that's that's definitely something that'll increase immersion. I mean, everything that, that makes you remember that this is a game... 
is pretty much something that they want to uh, want to take out of it. And it is pretty neat. We're going to go back up here real quick. I don't know if Miles Eckhart will speak to me yet. I don't think he will, but I don't have anything else to do. Let's go to Dumper's Depot over here. So this is a uh, this is a ship component. I think I'm running. I'm running. Okay. There's no exit here. Okay. All right. So Dumper's Depot in here is where you come if you need ship components. And she looks like she's seen better days. Somebody need, somebody needs to go reboot her. <laughs> So the AI are still a bit wonky. Hey, let's run in the back and see what they have. Yeah, you can see that some of these things go right into your ships. Like this is a cool core, and this one is as well. Uh, they do different, they're different components, but you'll be able to repair them. Like if it's a multiplayer ship and they start sparking or something. Pretty cool how that works. Oh, I, I like this guy's dress. Hold on a second. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. All right. See, I'm a I'm a fan of uh, being well dressed in your games. Let's see. Select ships. So we have our ship, which is the. Uh, just make sure that yeah, it's a saber comet. All right. So it's it's out there. You can see that we have our cooler, and and these are the ones that are available for us to upgrade to if we were to decide to, and, and you can look at it. So essentially what I want is a grade three. Ice plunge. I mean, some of these sound really good, but when you look at the, uh, when you look at the size and the grade and everything, they're not great. And I'm not really 100% sure just from looking at these yet. I'll need to do more research into it as to what's the best. I know that we have, uh, I think we have bracers on mine. Yeah, grade three, size one, military grade C. So these are the ones that I'm using right now because they have a performance level of 120. And and that seems to be the best. Over here, when you look at the uh, the uh, weaponry, so you can, you can buy ordnance and you can buy missiles and stuff like that and different missile racks. I wonder if I switched it to a different, let's, let's put it to a saber. If I'd have more options. No. Doesn't look like I can buy the uh, the lasers here. Or maybe I'm just not sure how to do it. Very possible. I also have the uh, Gladius Valiant, which is one of my favorite ships in this game. Alright, very cool. So we're just looking at that. I'm going to run back up there. I also got a crime stat rating for trying to blow myself up before. So, <laughs> Oops. Good on, chemistry guy. Hey, Gaul survives. Feel that there would need to be more active activity to justify that level of sound, though. I agree. I mean, that, that'll come in time. As they get the NPCs uh, going, we'll see more of them. The, the goal was to have nine NPCs for every one uh, player. So we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. Let's, uh, let's take a look again, see if I can, if I can get that contract from her yet. No. But we do have some mercenary ones. I wonder if there are any over here. I wish we... That's another thing I hope that they do in the future, that I can see local contracts, so I don't have to fly halfway across the system to take one, because I would like to take a local contract if I could get back in time. I, or maybe, hopefully, if I'm lucky, I ended up failing that mission. Whoa, what was that? Was that a failed contract? I just, I just saw the one about meeting with her. No, it says I failed. Okay. Damn it. There's a racing contract. Let's see. Uh, you fast, you deadly. Let's see. If you're interested, you'll send me the... Uh... Alright, it'll be on Selen. It's a racing contract. We could try that later. That'd be kind of fun. But I, I do want to do mercenary stuff today. If nothing else, we'll just take the mercenary missions. But since we're here, I'm gonna see if I can get that from her. So this is the uh, this is the famous bar from like all of their scenes, and the man himself is over here. You looking for somebody? Yeah, he, do he doesn't really care about me yet. I'm I'm not I'm not anyone yet that can talk to him. I don't I don't think the bartender is uh, is set up yet or anything. But we're in here just you know chilling, getting in the ambience. 
I wonder if you can get on. Oh, yeah. That. Now, the cool part about this is uh, if I if I can get this to work, I can do so much content creation with this. It's it's crazy. I'm trying to trying to fix the director mode here. There we go. That's still there. We go. That's a crotch shot. I don't think that's working as intended. There we go. Okay. All right. So they also have something called face over IP, which is where you can actually uh, track your face with a webcam in real time, and your character will make the same motions that you do now i tested it out it doesn't work very well on me probably because i i need to really uh clean up my goatee and make sure that it's it's very neat and trimmed in order to use that better because sometimes it it doesn't exactly grab my lips right but um, when it does work it's pretty breathtaking so you can see and then you can even use that face over ip to do head tracking in the game so if i move my head i can move around you know up down everything but the problem is that my uh, my computer or my monitor is on a monitor arm and it's not 100% level so that it ends up with the uh, field of view being slightly askew and if I hit my desk it, it shakes the monitor a little bit so then I found all kinds of issues with that that I need to work through. Yeah, the, the game's progress has been awesome, Ron. Guys, we need to get Gaul Survives into this. What do you think? Let me know in the chat. Do you want Gaul to join me? in this little adventure. In fact, you know what? Why don't, why don't we start on that right now? So while he's doing that, I'm gonna come over here and uh, get him a package. Go into the pledge store. Uh, there we go. Checking out now. Give me two seconds, Gull. I'll get this sent over to you. All right. Thank you for your patience. Uh, yeah, every every guy needs Gull survives in the game with him. I agree. You're making a crowdfunding pledge, not a purchase. So you need to know that. Are you making a, yeah. All right. Good to go. Paid. All right, so now I got to figure out how to gift it to you. So give me one second to do that. Uh, Star Citizen is currently 50 gigabytes, 55 gigabytes, maybe something like that. Somebody can, somebody can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know how big it is. But it, it will take every bit of your bandwidth to download this, so you will uh, you'll have it in no time at all. Give me two seconds, guys. I'm just gonna send him over a gift. Here it is. Okay, Gall, I need your uh, I need you to send me your in-game uh, account name and your email, and I'll send it over. So go ahead and do that. Username is Gull Survives. Hopefully, you, yeah, I'm just making sure. Hopefully, you guys can't see my account setting here. All right, and send me your email too. All right, I need your recipient email too. All right, so while they're doing that. Let me go back over and uh, check with that chick again. Oh, okay, I see it. Thank you. All right, uh, email has been sent. Check it now. Make sure you use it on that uh, that account that you linked to me. All right, let's try it again. Does she have anything for me yet? Fingers crossed. See, you know you're badass when sure you're you'd be showing up again. when you're glitched out like that, and then whenever you turn over, you turn around whenever the hell you want to. Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. 
<laughs> Help me, I can't feel my legs and no, I'm a member of the Trevor community. Welcome. You know what? She can't either, though, so. You're in good company. Unfortunately, things are a bit Shit. slow right now. I'll keep you in mind Your if anything turns up. Alright, Ron Fraser's now a member of the community. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you, Gaul. And I know exactly how to say that. <laughs> Uh, we, I, I, I'll tell you another really funny username later, but I can't do it on the screen. But like the girl that got this had, she laughed so hard for like a whole day about it because she thought it was great. But I swear that if they had given that username to anyone else, it would have been a lawsuit. <laughs> so they were very lucky about that. All right. Austin is now a member of the intrepid community. We're gonna have to fix that up because it, it's it's starting to get to the point that it's uh, a little annoying. So I'll probably put it like in the corner or something, kind of like uh, the Doc does with his Champions Club thing. So thank you very much. Uh, if you decide to become a Patreon or a YouTube sponsor, you'd be a member of the Captain's Crew. Your destiny nice, lies Dustin. with me, Skywalker. Let me just double check. Be one news to be true. Over here. So there you can see that we have uh, we have Gaul survives in. Everybody needs an incompetent. That's right. So what we'll do is once you get the game downloaded and uh, installed, let me know, and you and I can go out and have some fun. You can fly on my wing. I'll keep you safe. This dude is still stuck in here. That's so awesome. That's actually a pretty smart way to go AFK. Uh, I could, Oh, look, you can invite him to a party or you can add him to contacts. Nice. That's new. Or if it was there before. All right, that's that's also... That, that bugged out last time for us. Let's go up to Habitation and Hangers. Yeah, I can't I can't say that on the on the stream for the reasons we talked about before, but yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it is a funny funny name. All right. What kind of GP? Okay, let's go over my system specs. I have a very at this point ancient Core i7 4790K. It's the Devil's Canyon. Uh, you know, 4 core, 8 thread. CPU released, I believe, in either 2012 or 2013, so by computer standards, it's ancient. Intel was five generations beyond that now, so you can see that that's why I'm getting so low FPS. I have a GTX 1080 as well, so my graphics card is current and decent. I'm totally fine with that. Let me just check my emails real, real quick. All right, gift confirmation, good. Excellent. All right, so it looks like uh, looks like Gaul's got it. So once, let me know once you get that Gaul and you've you've claimed it. All right, so over here you can you can check this out. So while we're waiting for him, we'll we'll go ahead and dive in. So this is a, uh, you can see it's a, a trial version that's expired because totally why would pirates uh, buy software? So we could actually take one of these other ships. In fact, let's take a big ship, um, a big ship that I know that works. Let's take a Starfarer. And we'll load it up with something stupid like quartz. Oh, well, that's actually a size of pool amount. We'll go ahead and purchase that quartz. Confirm that. Yay! You see that? It's like totally 8 bit graphics. I love it. Big fan. All right, we'll go take our Starfarer out for a ride since I'm going to wait for Gaul. And hopefully, we can do that mission again. And that other guy hasn't failed his mission yet, so he's blocking me. He's biting me, is what they say. Alright, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for the Misk Starfarer. It's on Levski, it's a heavy refueling ship, and we will retrieve it. No! Positioning Q0. Okay. Alright, so we'll get it. We'll get it shortly. There's a lot of people here. And yes, I'm currently only getting about 20 frames per second, 25 frames per second, but it's a smooth 20 frames per second. There's a big difference between that whenever like one of them drops down to like 3, per, three frames per second. I used to get 5 here, just to go into perspective with you on this rig, but it's very, very much CPU related because they don't have the, uh, the bind calling in, which will really change up a lot of that because it'll move things onto different threads. Please hold for assignment. Okay, I guess we're all... Waiting for assignment. 
and see those guys over there. Well, this is actually a good opportunity for me to get back into my flight suit so I don't die. Well, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Take my undersuit. We have the Odyssey Alpha 2 available to me. We have the Pathfinder. All of these are, or these ones are the uh, subscriber ones. So I'll go ahead and put that on because that's pretty cool. Let's go into our weapons. I should definitely put together my weapons. Our primary weapon is going to end up being that Galant Energy Rifle. And my secondary weapon. I could use this. This is like the gold one for concierge, but not that big of a douche. I like the all black one, kind of Han Solo style, the Midnight. We'll put that in here. And now I need, uh, let's see, I need the Galant cap as well as the uh, Arc Light. There we go. <laughs> Save those changes and equip. Let's put on some armor. So we have the uh, flight suit. I think we have armor on the arms. Maybe not. Okay. Let's switch over to the Pathfinder. So, or no, the Voyager. Here we go. We'll keep the red with the red. Looks good. Yeah, we did get the Voyager arms. So we'll add those too. Looks pretty cool. Actually looks like I'm ready for a game of roller derby. I don't know. Is that too old of a reference? Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> okay, tough crowd. Tim shot first, that's right. This, this guy, this guy's slow clapping me. Actually, no, he's probably slow clapping the guy doing the worm on the floor. Let me, let me just double check again. So we're all waiting for our ships, which is something that will have to be worked out into a priority. We'll probably end up with more hangars around somewhere, I would hope. Let's see if I can get one now. But here you can see this guy also has the the uh, purple Imperator ship or thing. I would like it better if it was blue, but since it's purple, I'm not going to wear it. And here you can see what mine looks like. Not bad. Like I said, it's it's definitely uh... <laughs> nothing like that. You know, my wife actually has a better CPU than I do, which makes me sad. Because I bought it for her. All right, so we're all waiting here. Try to get off. All of our landing areas are currently full. Please hold for assignment. Sounds to me like that might be a bug. I do like this. Uh, I do like this suit though. That's a very nice suit. Turn on my light so that we can see this guy. I mean, that, that just feels like space. We have to get to the point that we have spacesuits that are more form-fitting. We will. Just trying to see if it's been put out yet. I wonder if I can use one of the other ones. I, I wonder if it that's how it works. Because I know that my ship is still on the surface. Here. Let me see if I can pull up, like, the Valkyrie. Oh, you can't get it. We don't know where it is. I, le I left it out in space, so let me uh, let me file a claim for that. All right, so I filed a claim on the Valkyrie. Hopefully, we get it back at some point. At least I thought I did. Uh. Yeah, so it's not letting me do that. I think I think Levski might be bugged right now. We might be stuck here. Let me see if I can get a cutlass up. Because I, I wonder if... No. We're stuck. Guys, I need somebody to come get me. Rescue me! Oh, wow. Now, now we have... Look at all these players. We, we found all the players on the server. We're all right here, which is also contributing to my frames being so low. Let's get away from them. We're going up to the surface. Let's see. Where is the... Uh... There's definitely an elevator to the surface. I just don't remember where it is. Residential area. Liberty maintenance. Okay. I know it's here somewhere. Maybe it's over here. 
Yeah, those are the hangers, and then there's probably another one. Here we go, to lobby and airlocks. We'll just do it like this. Uh, see, I, I don't I don't know about that, Captain Smirk. I totally don't believe you, because I have those... Are you talking about, like, on this, uh, on Levski? Because I can get 100 FPS practically anywhere else, especially if I'm not recording. And you, in your system... Your system would have to be uh, better than that. I mean, I, I was getting 70 FPS on Alisar, so. But I, I know a lot of people are trolling this game hard, so I don't really... Oh, my ship's bouncing. Here, you can see somebody else has a constellation behind me. And that's the problem. I think their constellation is interfering with the back of my ship. Let's see if we can get in the, their ship. They didn't unlock it. Okay. We're going to take our saber, and we're going to go do some missions while I'm waiting for Gaul. So let me know. Gaul, uh, can you can you let me know whether or not you, you got it? You're downloading this bad boy. All right, sweet. I'm trying to push him to do a lot of Star Citizen content with me, because this is a game that's really fun with friends. And that, that's where the bulk of it's going to come from, I think. Oh no. Hold on, I have to get out. Hang on. I didn't turn off my light before I got in, and once you get in the cockpit, as far as I know, there's no way to turn off your overhead light, which will... It's kind of like when somebody turns a flashlight on inside your car at night when you can't see anything. Yeah, we don't want that. There we go. The hammerhead is in the game, but I have never been able to... Uh, Okay. Oh, sweet. Good to hear it, Captain Smirk. Glad you're having fun. Let's go ahead and... Woo! <laughs> yeah, let's let's burn for space. Put down the landing gear. So that, that's why this, uh, this current flight model is ridiculous, because there's no reason that I should have been able to make that kind of maneuver where it went like 90 degrees straight up. You know, immediately like that without hitting into that station, but yet I, I did. So let's also uh, let's also fix it. What is that? That's interesting. Bugs are strong with this one. Let's go up to 100% power. I am very excited for the new flight model, just so I don't have to deal with the, uh, the crap. All right, stop. I'll stop and get quiet. Let's uh, set up our guns to be all on the same. Hmm. There we go. Now they're all on the one slot. Oh, hey, my, my ship got onto a landing pad. That's that's great. Thanks for that, Levski. Yeah. All right, let's take a mercenary contract. What do we got here? What's available to us? I'm sick of waiting for that girl. Hopefully she'll come back to me. Uh, mercenary. Peeping Toms. Well, that's interesting. You've been my Grim Hex recently. Uh, the Nine Tails are playing... Okay. I didn't really care for that one very much because that was really hard to find it. We'll just do this one. Clear out the Nova Riders hunting grounds. Alright. So meet at the rendezvous point. Figure out where the hell that is. Rendezvous point is way out there, so let's quantum jump to the rendezvous point. Actually, before we do that, there's a rendezvous beacon at yellow, so we'll just set the route there. Make sure that we're set specifically to that beacon. I wonder, can we not hit it? Okay, yeah, we can't. We can't hit it from here. Maybe we can. There it is. Okay. Good to go. Alright, we're spooling right now as soon as we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and make the jump. So, three, two, one. Engage. We're on our way to the rendezvous. We're gonna kill some Nine Tails who are the local pirates. And, uh, really see what this ship can do. If we didn't crash. There we go. Yeah. 
So you see, once I get away from Levski, it's, you know, 80 frames per second and, and awesome. Even on this ridiculous one. Gaul wants a Super Star Destroyer. Well, let me get out the wallet for that. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, you definitely need an SSD. Do you not have a SSD? Like, th th this game has to be installed into an SSD. I mean, it's just, there's so many files it, it will take you. It takes Georgie, like, 20 minutes to load. Because I, I got him to buy an SSD that he can't install because he can't figure it out, so... Bless his heart. I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying. <laughs> Not with sufficient sufficient free space. Yeah, I pretty much moved all of my non-Star Citizen and Stellaris games off of my SSD. Like, and, and I'll actually have one dedicated to Star Citizen going forward. As the game continues to evolve in size, because Hurston, for example, will probably, I don't know, take us up to, uh, I would think, 70 gigabytes, maybe more. All right, so here we are. So where is our rendezvous? Okay, there's the rendezvous point at Yella. Apparently we didn't go to the right place. My bad. Here we go. Calibrating. Sending power to the systems and engage. It's totally worth it, Gaul. You're gonna get like really, really shitty FPS without it. So if, if you can move stuff off of your SSD, I would do it. There we are. Oh wow, got asteroids everywhere. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves back up here. It's currently uh, recharging my quantum drive, so it can't come up immediately, but it will in a second. There we go. Alright, we're going to a rendezvous beacon, so we'll definitely get credit for this mission. Start working our way up. Oh, wow. Crap. Meet at the rendezvous, so we're just going to chill here for a little bit until other people get here, potentially. Now it says go to the patrol area, so where are we going to patrol? Is that the patrol area? Maybe. That's no, a comma ray. Look around for it. Okay, there it is. 90 kilometers away. Go ahead and go. Full burn will be there very shortly. This this thing this thing flies so well. It's just not fair. So I am very curious to see how this flies after the rework. There we go. So we're on vector now. Your David, now a member of the Intrepid news. community, welcome to the channel. Be one news to be true. This is a day that's been long foretold. All right, we're uh, 55 kilometers away from the patrol area. Yeah, see, the thing is, though, that like Star Wars tries to make it all uh, crazy as, as far as the... Um, you know, as far as the asteroids fields go, but most of them are stabilized unless you're there within the first, like, what was it, like, 10,000 years after an asteroid field was created. Everything is pretty much crashed into everything, and it should be more like this. But that'd be fun. I mean, I, I'm always up for fun over real, you know, accurate sci-fi. Here we go. So this is an interesting little asteroid that's being kept together with cables and stuff. Oh, I'm totally gonna black out. From deceleration, holy crap, I almost I almost blacked out there. Gotta be careful. Now these are timed too, so you gotta get here fast and get ready. So this is their hunting grounds, huh? Yeah, you can see that when I when I let off the power I'm getting pretty close to blackout. Now, there should be a little tiny beacon there. I've actually gotten up close to one of these before and shot them. 
but I don't see it this time. Objective complete. Now we should be attacked at any point. Eliminate hostiles. Ah, it looks like... Maybe there's some hostiles around here. Let me, uh... Let me come out here and look for them. I, I don't know how to scan yet. I should probably learn how to do that. Is scanning in? Do you know? Haha, <laughs> oh doll, you're so you're so cute. I'm hair away from banning you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fly around here because typically every time that I've come to one of these I've seen the enemy before I got to the location, but this is this is the first one. It may take a second for them to spawn. I have to say, the visuals are stunning. The oh, here we go. We got one. Great Cutlass Black. Inbound. On our vector. On my way. I gotta be careful because I'm using all my bo my booster doing this. Oh shit! Damn it! <laughs> what was that? Oh, that was him yelling at me. All right, we found him. You think you got me? Oh wow, they they really increase it changed the uh, way that the NPCs talk to you. That sounds like a person. Uh oh. My shields are down, I gotta get out of here. That, that could actually be a guy. Pretty sure it's not, but. Where is he? Come on, get those shields back up or I'm gonna freaking die. Alright. There we go, we got our shields coming back online. Do another strafing run. Oh, he's got that. He's got that scatterburst shotgun. You gotta be really careful. I keep running into him because I'm being stupid. Yeah, I, I'm flying like a jackass right now. Oh shit! Almost flew into that asteroid. There we go. Splash one. Alright, do we have another guy in the system? Ouch. Yeah, so what you want to do is not uh, fly into people. That's never a good idea. Alright, so our shields are back. We're in good shape. Still have everything. Doesn't look like it took any damage. Let's uh, let's stop real quick and and check out the outside of the ship and see how we're doing. Yeah, we're we're still okay. And here you can see what it looks like when you fire a saber. This is definitely based on the SR seventy one, or is it the SR seventy one? I don't know. SR one one seven. Whatever the stealth uh, fighter was back in the day. And the alert, the shields are down, is uh, actually not accurate. The shields are very up, so that definitely didn't reset the condition. All right, let's take a look at our contract. Are we still good here? Always a little bit. Uh, probably just waiting for the other ones to show up. F one one seven, 
Oh, I'm very excited about the flight changes. I, I do not like the way that these ships currently fly. I shouldn't be able to just do this and boost through it and instantly turn on a dime here. Because you can see what I can do right now. I mean, flying is... And, and then if, if, we, in, if we put in our thrusters with it, too, I mean, I can start like that. I can start circle strafing this, and, and, and I can use my thrusters here that have way more power than my main engines. I mean, it just, it's not a great, it's not a great system right now, but it will be much better. I mean, here, if you want to practice your flying, come on out to an asteroid ring like this and try to, uh, try to go through here without, without hitting anything constantly you know this this is how you do it hopefully this isn't making anybody sick you know if you were to if you were to practice your your flying like this you become really good with this current system and if you have a ship like the saber it's not even a challenge all i have to do is uh is work on hitting my thrusters correctly and i i can spin around like this and you know i can orient myself i can use my afterburners to correct my course All that stuff. Yeah, well, Kraken with the current flight models would basically be a saber, right? Because, I mean, like, if the uh, if the thrusters needed anything, they just got it. We're probably going to fail this mission, quite honestly, because I... I haven't seen any other Ninetales, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pretty far away here. Let's see if I can... See if I can change my power mode. Is there any way that I can make myself try to scan further out? So you can overclock your sensors and things like that. Here you can kind of see system. Guns on, guns off. What is this? Missiles on. We'll turn our missiles off. I don't really use them. Save the power. I don't like to use anything that is uh, potentially used up. What do you have over here? IR. Okay. So you can suppress your IR for different things. Menu. Target status. Okay, so let's we can switch this over here to target status. I can put that there. And then I can put... Comms. I can put comms here so I can see if anyone's talking to me. Woo! Uh-oh. I'm going to red out. All the blood just went to my head. There we go. So we're 23k away. Now we're going to we're gonna burst back in here and see if my new added range away from these asteroids helps me pick up anybody. Yeah, I definitely have a flight stick. Here, I, let, let's stop real quick. I want to clear this from the shield, or from the uh, from the thing, so we're going to power off the ship. Well, that's actually not what was supposed to happen. No. I mean, it's, it's legit. The shields would be kind of down right now. We'll see if that goes away once it comes up, or if it's locked in the memory of the CPU. Once the shields are at full, maybe it'll stop saying that. Okay. And that's an interesting bug as well. Alright. So, we're gonna try a different thing here. We're gonna get out. Always, uh... <laughs> it's always an interesting thing when you go into space like this. So here we are. You can see me. I am, uh... There we go. I am EVAing right now. And I can actually pull out my weapon and fire it if I choose to. Or pull out my other weapon. And here, if I if I go like this, we can aim down sights and Oh yeah. So there are actually missions where you have to get out and retrieve things in space, so this is how you would do it. But you are so vulnerable outside of your cockpit, it's crazy. Enter the pilot seat. What's going up, Toting Games? Good to see you, man. Try using swap target friendly. Okay. 
There we go. Looks like we cleared that, so that's perfect. Now we can uh, we can start moving again. I'm just cycling targets. I'm not seeing anything. Usually whenever I find something, it'll say contact. There we go. All right, we found another one. Drake Buccaneer. Where is he? Let's not black out first. Looking for him. There he is. All right. Prepare to engage. Oh, geez. It's a lot closer than I thought. This is good, because he's going to... Oh, crap. Since I, since I got out, I have to redo everything. There we go. Oh, we did, we did, I was just trying to slot in behind him, but I ended up hitting him. It's bad for him because essentially one shot from me will kill him if I get all four lasers on it. At least with the old uh, M5As I used to have on here. These, these do a lot less damage. I have to find some more M5As. Not a big fan of these. There we go. Alright, so we got a new patrol area. If you really did buy this back in 2012 and you're not bullshitting, then you can totally get in here and, uh, and play today, because this is available right now to all all backers. I gotta be careful with my booster fuel, I don't wanna run out. Now it will recharge slightly over time as I as I keep flying if I'm not using it in some ships. Um don't know if this is one that will do that or not. I might have to get closer to the, the planet surface to take whatever's available from the atmosphere. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Let's not run into that. Uh oh. Oh, we came so close to blacking out there. That would be really embarrassing because I haven't blacked out in a Foley in a long time. So the nice part about the uh, the new flight model will be too, I'll be able to get up to speed with just my throttle. And even though it'll be slow, I'll be able to make course corrections while at full speed like this without having to go back down to zero immediately, which makes zero sense and actually... Uh, sucks as you can see that you can just black out from trying to miss an asteroid oh and here like just because i i let go of the afterburner key it stopped i gotta be really careful though i'm gonna stop doing my afterburner we'll just stay on this course until we get there this is not a big ship but i do have some we can definitely show you those in fact we can uh we can go back to port Olisar after this and pull out a starfarer gemini if you want and we can take a look at that. That's a pretty big ship. I don't have a Reclaimer, but I think that we all get them, so maybe we can just pull out a Reclaimer for the PTO. The ship I'm most interested in, and probably a lot of other people, is the Carrick. I mean, that is that is my ship. Alright, so let's watch it. It's at 42%. By the time we get there, and it looks like we're drifting a little bit. I don't know why. My, my joystick must not be calibrated. Anybody see any spare hydrogen around here? Yeah, I'm using a HOTUS. Look at that. It instantly goes back down to 274. I'm not a fan of that. I wonder. I wonder if it's the mouse. I wonder if the mouse was in a position it didn't like. I, I use the uh, G... Let's see. Uh, I use the Logitech 
X56 Rhino. It used to be the Satek X56. Mine is a Satek because I got it when I first came out, but it's got it's got a lot of nice features to it. All right, start slowing down a little bit. There we go. So we're in the patrol area. We should be able to see somebody pretty soon here. Contact. Drake Buccaneer. Bearing zero, zero, zero. Oh, he disappeared. Did he turn off his systems? Yeah, he did. All right. Oh, I don't know what just happened, but I, I just hurt myself quite a bit. I don't know, for some reason, the this, this ship stopped uh, responding. You can see that I couldn't really turn. That was weird. I've, I've had turn on a dime until then, and now I can't. Did I, did I kill him? Did he end up exploding? Because uh, he's not on my scanners anymore. That's a good idea. I'll definitely look into that. Captain Smirk. I, I thought since it was... Oh, wow, we almost blacked out. If you black out, you quite literally pass out in the seat until you wake up. You could fly into an asteroid and kill yourself. It's it's a pretty serious thing. Yeah, so they changed these. These used to be out in the middle of practically nowhere, which was kind of nice, because they'd be just in this regular asteroid field. And as you came into them, uh, you could you could see all the pirates that you needed to engage, so it was a much faster mission. But now, I kind of have to hunt for them a little bit. It would probably be easier if I knew how to scan, so I should probably look into that. Let's see if scanning mechanics are part of this. Because even though I'm in a stealth ship, I'm hardly, you know, interested in, uh, in staying away. Oh, there we go, we just crashed. <laughs> First crash of the night. Go ahead and submit that. I'll throw up a cover page for you. So uh, if you're interested in Intrepid Dawn, here's a trailer real quick while we're going through this. Uh, it's downtime for me to get back in the game, so give me two seconds on that. And uh, here it is. Okay, just waiting for it to load right now, so give me two seconds. Um, Gull, are you in? Go ahead and jump in my... Let's see. Oh, jump. oh, I'm here. Oh, you're here. Beautiful. Uh, I crashed again. <laughs> Let me Oops. just verify the files. All right, so did you actually load into the main part of the game? Not the main part. I did a little bit of Arena Commander because I wanted to know what I was getting myself in for. Are you on the PTU or are you on just the 3.2? It, it um, probably sh I probably should have explained it. Okay. Uh, okay. You what, what, where do I go to find that out? <laughs> okay, go to, your, go to your account on the, on the okay. website. Okay. Let me pull it up so I can I'm walk through it with you. Game now, man. I can't be brought out. Because if I tap out, my game will crash. No, I... <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, all right. I'm I, I'm so, looking at my account. All right. Uh, let's see. So if you go to your account at the bottom of the uh, settings. Okay. Tab. Settings. Here, here we go. I'm I'm, I'm so ready. Public test universe. Public test universe. Huh? That's in the account settings. Yeah. It says my account and then settings. Uh -huh, I'm in settings now. And you see all the way at the bottom, it says address book, pledge shipment, public test universe. Oh, yeah, it's grayed out. Oh, okay, so it didn't give you access to it yet. Uh, is it, does that mean I'm not cool? I mean, I'm okay with it. I just, I, mean, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know when it like decides that you're cool. <laughs> Maybe every hour it checks for new accounts and 
and does it. I don't know. It's grayed out to you completely. You're not able to click on it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I ain't got diddly squiddle there. <laughs> diddly squiddle. Should get diddly your Jorg We should give you Jorgie's account because it's not like he uses it. We huh? should give you Jorgie's. Seriously, account. just be like Jorgie. I'm, 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 I'm absolutely convinced that he would appreciate that. Yeah, well, it's like it's eminent domain, right? <laughs> okay, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and jump in here. So I'm waiting for Gaul, but I'm going to try to load in. Normally after a crash, I have to jump into Arena Commander first, which is the only way Maybe I found... Maybe it's grayed out because I'm in the game. Yeah, try, try to get out real quick and see if you can do it. Yeah, because if you're in 3.2, I just can't go backwards, man. I can't go back to that low of a frame rate. I have a suspicion that I am in. Alpha, fly now, Alpha 3.2. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we need yeah, to get you up to go. Oh, we're good. Team. We're good. Um, I got back in. Holy crap. All right, guys. The uh, the cover page is gone, and we're back. And uh, it's time it's time for us to take a big ship and do... Maybe, oh, maybe... Uh, I don't know if, if I got that contract offer again. Let's see. Because every time I've logged in, I've seen it. So it's, it's probably like a uh, timed thing. No, it's not up there now. Damn it. Okay, let's go take a really big ship out and make everybody happy by looking at that. Let's take a reclaimer. We have like practically nothing to do with it, but we have it, and that's that's something. Good news is I think we're probably uh, our display info three. There we go. Now you can see my frames. All right, so I, I don't know, what is the, uh... Oh, wow, they, they took half of my ships away. It looks like right now I only have the ships I actually bought. That's weird. Am I is in... Is that specifically in the PTU? Well, no, I, I should have them all, but now they're gone, so that's weird. Am, am I in the PTU? Let me just make sure. Oh no, I'm on the... yeah, 3.3 .3 is running. That's really weird. Um, okay. So I, I don't particularly like that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and quit that real quick. Let me let me reload the game, guys, because I, I don't know why I lost access to all those ships. We should all have them. It's part of the test, unless they did something behind the scenes. So let's uh, let's quit the game. And we'll throw back up the cover page for a second. I appreciate your patience. I mean, this is an alpha. If you're going to laugh at it or whatever, that's totally up to you. But there's no one else that's doing a game nearly to the scope of this. So, And one of the one of the other things, too, is that like major game studios would have, have even have told you that something like this was in the works until it got to the point that it was ready for... Um, for publication, like Squadron 42, the trailer that we just got for it, you probably wouldn't have known anything other than like CSI or CGI or CIG was um, working on a game, a sci-fi game, you know, for years. And then all of a sudden you'd get this trailer dropped on you because they're within like a year of release or whatever. And that's how you build hype. Huh? See how that goes. All right, trying to get back in now. Fingers crossed. Go ahead and uh, take off the cover page. Although alt tabbing whenever you are in the loading screen is usually death. So we'll see if I if I jinxed it. Sounds like I jinxed it. No, no, we're good. Look at that. Twice in a row we loaded without issue. Awesome. Now, problem is I can't see the chat, so let me pull that back up. You'd love to have a Stargate game like this. Well, it's unfortunately that's very unlikely. Once the Stargate game that they were trying to build didn't uh, didn't pan out. Yeah, it's a shame that, isn't it? Yeah, I figure you'd be the, you'd be the one to talk to about that because I don't really know <clears throat> know that much about it. Well, I'm not. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a, a Stargate buff. I just know I enjoy it. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I need to claim this Valkyrie. Apparently, I can't. Uh, <clears throat> can't file okay, a claim so either i've done a little bit of reading um and yes folks i can read i, I know this is a surprise to many uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Uh, it appears that in order to get into the PTU, you need um, various relevant badges attached to your account for previous testing phases. Uh, so what that means is, uh, for as an example, for me to get into the PTU for 3.3, uh, I need to play a decent amount, effectively, of 3.2. Uh, and you, you gain badges by playing. Uh, once you have those badges, you can copy your account over to the PTU, uh, and then you can start playing in the public test phases. Mm. Which we... basically means I'm not getting into the same universe as you this evening, I'm sorry to say. I'll need to play a little bit by myself, get the relevant badges, and then I'll be in. Yeah, so, unfortunately, that sucks. Um, looking for a ship, and I don't see it anywhere. The Valkyrie is going to be gone to me forever, unfortunately, because I put it down outside of, uh... Yeah, I put it down outside of Levski, and then logged off, and so either somebody stole it, or something happened to it, but it's no longer there. Did you file an um, insurance claim? Yeah, it won't work. I mean, I, I can nuke my account and come back in, but then I'll have to rebuy everything. Which is not a big deal, I could do that. That sounds like a lot of faff. It is. Um... Tell you what, let's let's do something different. Let's pull out the 600i. People want to see a big ship. This is the biggest ship that I own, and it's the, the most luxurious. The following landing pad. And I, I really want to get rid of it, but the thing is, with like the melting system, you can only melt up instead of down. So because it's in my Carrick package, I can't get rid of it without losing my game package. So I have to weigh whether or not I want to do that. What well, I, I meant to ask you, how do you? Uh, you've got your little resource monitor at the top right-hand corner. Yep. I is did. that something that I'll be able to get? Yes, absolutely. Where you can see that. So mm -hmm. yeah, if if you hit the uh, tilde key for your console, uh -huh. type R underscore capital display, no space info, space three, and that'll okay. be up there. That'll show you what's up and how you're doing. Yours might it's look a little a, different because this one has just a capital uh, D in display. Yeah, capital D, capital I for uh, okay. info. Did I all out a ship? Yeah, I did. It's on the other side. I'm just trying to load load into the main map, and then I'm going to do a little bit of a resource test and see uh, see how that looks for me. Okay. Uh, I think I've got a better CPU than you, but my GPU is worse. So it'd be a nice, interesting benchmark for for the audience. Absolutely, and especially whenever 3.0 gets out to you, or 3.3 gets out to you, because that's where you, the performance gains were insane. Mm -hmm. okay, like basically, start. right now, you are loading the entire galaxy that we have here, the entire universe. There it is, the Origin 600i, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go play with that brand new, as of last patch, but still ridiculously awesome ship. It's a it's little one of the racing ships, is it? No, uh, well, this is a this is a uh, explorer ship. Ooh, nice. This is how, this is like how you explore if you're like the Robinsons and you're rich, you know. <laughs> All right, there's there's That's not a whole lot of. <clears throat> Let me just get your your stream back on my other screen because. Oh, that's that's I, not I, good. I was, I was trying to work out what, what I was doing with my life. I need. This is not good at all. So this ship is bugged. Look at that. All the cargo stuff is missing. You know, and the same thing was happening to me before with the other ship. So maybe my account is just screwed. On the PTU. In fact, let's let's take uh, let's take a two minute break. I'm going to kill my account on the PTU. I'm going to create a new one. So hopefully, I've accessed all these ships. And whenever they spawn, you know, they'll actually spawn with the actual stuff that they're supposed to have. This is a cargo bay that that should be coming down right here. But you can see it's completely missing. You know, this is the other part that's missing. I couldn't get into the hammerhead for the same reasons. I, I think I'm I think I'm bugged. So we'll go ahead and do that. What is there to do in this game? Uh, you can take missions and run cargo, you can do anything. There'll be so much to do in the future. This is just a small subset of that, a very small subset of that. <clears throat> right now, um, if you've ever played, played uh, any of the X series or, say, Freelancer, yep. it's kind of got a similar subsect of missions uh, for that. You can either be a trader where you can, uh, you can trade resources between place uh, A and place B, in the universe, or you can take missions where you where you effectively act as a bounty hunter to all intents and purposes. So that, that that's what you can do right now. Um, that is due to be kind of updated, improved upon. There'll be mining, there'll be refining. Um, there are multi crew vessels, so everybody has their own individual jobs as well. Uh, and you'll also be able to do similar things on planets, not just in space. Good, th good stuff.
Did I have a call? Should hopefully, uh... <laughs> Vegeta says, bugged you say? Sounds like you need some raid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Logging in. Okay, so, uh, that took all of a second to delete and recopy my stuff, so we should be good there. Let me take off the cover page, and uh, we'll be loading in momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain. Having a slight problem with our entry sequence. Sequence, we may experience some slight turbulence and then explode. All right. Thank you for your patience. There we go. Back in. Brand new account. Freshly copied over. All those ships that are lost somewhere in the verse no longer matter. Yay. Try this again. I gotta remake myself. So first thing to do is fix this so that I can... I'd like to confirm your loading times are better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, that's not bad. Hairstyle, let's go with the mohawk this time. No, let's not do that. I mean, fringe up is good and uh, hair color light gray, eye color blood red. No, I would love that. But see, I'm just I'm so jealous of people with blue eyes because I have brown eyes and it's and their recessive traits are something people want usa let's do it what color are your eyes go ah uh, green ah look at that you've got a little hazel in them i think yeah <laughs> at least jealous. that's what i say on my dating profile <laughs> <laughs> there you go i am jealous sir all right so we're loading in now fingers crossed it works hey it worked third time's a charm we loaded right in and I mean like right in. You can see how quickly now you can get into the game with the uh, object container streaming. I didn't have to load the whole game. I just loaded Port Olisar. Boom. Right in. Alright. Go ahead and do the uh, R sorry underscore. To again, Tim, but would you mind uh, going for the resource monitor again? What was that? R underscore display info space 3. You can see how I have it typed right there on oh, the screen. Perfect. That's useful. And this must be a new server because I was hitting peaks of uh, 80 FPS here. So let's see what we got. Yeah, they must they must have flipped a switch or something because I had access to everything before and now I only have access to the stuff that I actually own. So I got noodles. All right, let's let's retrieve the 600i. Fingers crossed, it works. Which also means I lose that saber because I melted my saber for the Valkyrie. So, all right, but I can get the Valkyrie back if I want to. C00. zero. All right, this way. Yeah, Star Citizen is practically unplayable without an SSD. Surprisingly, I would not necessarily agree the load times are horrific uh my fps on 3.2 yeah it's sitting at 35 yeah that's that's pretty good uh, like i said you have a better cpu than me so that's going to be your limiter mostly yeah i'm just uh loading in new data uh you get a little skip yeah but honestly not terrible some pretty oh. weird, funky stuff going on with the music. Yeah, the music is all dynamic, by the way, guys, so that's why it sounds the way it does. Ah. Um, yeah, so depending on what's happening, your music may change. This looks this looks bugged. Yep. This uh this one is completely and totally unplayable. <sighs> okay. That's a real shame. Yeah. I'm sure it's something that'll fix soon enough, though. Well, yeah, I mean, it's one of this is the, this is the uh, thing we're, we're alpha testing uh, a thing, and and I, I had a problem with the uh, what was it called the shit um, hammerhead. I couldn't get into it, and somebody else had commented that they'd watched a lot of people play, and I was the only person that they found that had that bug. So I, I don't know. Um, I'll definitely make sure I write it up in there that my larger ships are spawning without their you know without their components. That's a problem. All right, we'll have to wait for that to get put away. 
you used to be able to claim it as a way to uh, reset the bugs, so if they're not not letting you do that now, that's kind of disappointing. Because you could come in here and, and file a claim on it. Alright, let's see. The Valkyrie is good. We could actually do that. We can retrieve that. And the nice part is the Valkyrie doesn't have to be on that main pad. So it should be alright. There you go. CO7. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely fun to play. I mean... If you if you like being an explorer in a galaxy that can go anywhere, this will be the game for you. I mean, there's there's just so much. There'll be so much to do here, and it's it's kind of amazing that just like in the last year, you can see the progress that's been made with this technical technically and you know, everything else. Here is the here's the Valkyrie, by the way, guys. If you missed the stream earlier, we're gonna show it off a little bit here. I'll turn off my light for a second. Turn on my light for a second. Now, one thing that I definitely want, and uh, I'm hoping that they add that at some point, is a way for me to toggle the power, maybe with like an access code or something, so only the pilot can do it, so that somebody can't troll you and turn off the power in the middle of a battle back here. But when I first come on, you can see that they kind of learned a little bit from from our complaints that there's there's these like running lights on now, which are kind of nice that I can actually see. But most of these ships are completely dark until you get into the pilot seat. And, uh, and get that set up. So I, I'll take a look at this with you guys after we get up here. But I could probably do the mercenary missions in this thing. It's it's big, but it's not it's not so big as to be a, a problem. Yeah. Cockpit door. Enter the pilot seat. You can see it as a HOTUS setup. Not unlike some people that I know that have them mounted right onto their armrest of their chair. Pretty cool way to do it. All right, now down here we have the power on, so we'll go ahead and turn on the power. I also love the fact that there's five screens here that you can see because they use uh, different functions, like this one's your comm screen. And the reason that this is so polished is because it's a, it's a squadron uh, ship, Squadron 42. Engines online. All right, let's go ahead and take off. You can see... I guess that was maybe a thruster misfire. I don't know why it wouldn't have gone straight up. I told it to. And here it is. This is the external view. Kind of take a look at the ship for a second. You can see what it is that I'm flying. And there I am, right in the cockpit. My gray hair. All right. Go ahead and put up the landing gear. You can see that retracts back into the hull, and, the, and it turns to... Uh, to thruster mode and we're ready to go pretty cool there all right so we have our valkyrie and uh you can see like compared to the other ship doesn't turn as fast or anything like that uh let's go ahead and lock those gimbals all right so it doesn't turn as fast as the uh as the other ships but it's not bad i mean for what it is it's it's pretty good i want to target under rectical there we go Theta 9. Kind of being a dick right now. Oh, there's a bad kid. Is he just not going to explode or what? Oh, he's finally. He's running. Don't let him run. I just picked a fight I can't win. How are, how are you not dead? How? The fact that he has my shields down is crap. He should be dead. His, his, he's definitely bugged. Look at that. My shields are critical. I'm screwed. He took off one of my wings. I'm going to get blown up, and he should be dead. This is crap. It, his ship is, is bugged. Yeah, this is a fight I can't win because he's a uh, he's a more agile bomber ship. Especially if, if you're gonna circle strafe me, you deserve to die. Yeah, if he does that, I can't hit him. It'd be different if I had the gall and the uh, turret. We'd probably have killed him by now.
I'm sorry. It's okay. I only I only blame you a little bit. Oh come on! There's no way that little ship can take this, especially on the cockpit. I'm shooting his damn cockpit. Yeah, so we died. Look at the crap that that is. That's super disappointing. I I think that the. Uh, I, I think that the gritty space is actually more realistic. You're gonna have uh, you're gonna have periods of both. So right now you're seeing things like uh, the keynote speech showing Lorville, which is very much Blade Runner, you know, L.A. from 2000, whenever. Here we go, M.A. contract available. I want that. All right, now that I'm now that I'm evil, let's see what's available for me. Personal appointment, yes. Accept the offer. Twenty. I got 20 minutes to get there. 20 minutes to get there, and I need a ship. What do we have that's ready to go? Uh, 300A. Fine. It's an interdiction ship. It's fast. It's got a... Uh, Your ship has been delivered to the following landing I think maybe it has a... Does it have a uh, EMP drive? Maybe not, but that's what I always think of interdiction. Okay, we're on our way. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta make it. I want this mission, and I'm not giving it up to anyone else. All right. Come on, run. Run. I wish I had the uh, Gladius Valiant still, but I melted that. So this is... I'm going to show you. This is the Origin Jumpworks 320A. It's a... Uh, it's kind of like a luxury combat ship. You'd find this on a, a well-to-do world as like part of their fleet. You can see in here, it's, it's very nicely paneled, just like the 600i we were looking at. <coughs> Need to get in this pilot seat. Okay, good to go. All right, let's go straight to flight ready. I don't have time to screw around. Okay, flight ready. Here we go. All right, I don't have time to show you the ship. We'll look at it in a second. All right, where, where is it? Show me where we're jumping to, please. Here we go. Delmar, set route, engage. Spool up the FTL, here we go. Why can't I see it? Check fire. Okay, come on. Come on, spool it up. Oh wow, those sound very interesting. I can't see it, but I assume it's there. It's probably a bug. Here we go. We're spooling up the drive. As soon as I hear that stop, I'll know it's ready to go. Here we go. Okay, so we just made a quantum jump without the interface, because who needs the interface? We we gotta meet this uh this Rekka. Rekko. Oh no, did we just we're good. <laughs> oh, there's definitely going to be a mix, uh, Emperor Jot. There, there are ships in this game that have un unclassed beauty and like luxury feeling, and, and they want it to be a world that there's the have-nots and the haves. And I, I don't mean that like players are not equal. I mean just like you can see in the environment that some planets were destroyed and others are not. Canadian Empire, thanks for becoming a member of the community. Yep, and Drake is very minimalist, pirate, you know, fringe of uh, society kind of look. They're all very different. Like, Anvil is uh, more of a military angular look, whereas Aegis is like military tech. It's it's all very cool. They all have very different uh, looks to them. All right, as soon as we get this, we'll go ahead and go. Sorry that my light is still on, which is totally screwing me up here. I wish I could actually see my uh, my heads up display, which is going to make this a little bit more difficult and challenging. But those are the brakes. Here, we'll take a look at the ship real quick. Got a half a second. 
All right, so you can see the origin 325A. It's, it's basically a giant rocket engine. <laughs> this is what it looks like. But it is cool looking. It has that uh, nice wing pattern that should also fly fairly well in atmosphere, which is important. All right, let's go ahead and do that. What do we what do we got here? There we go. go all right as soon as i hear it and it's done all right we're on our way let's go let's go let's go i gotta get there i want i want this mission i don't know what it is but i want it okay so we just made it a whole, whole bunch of the way now we're gonna finish it off Go ahead and boost ourselves in there. You can see that we're 48 kilometers away, so I'm going to need to use that and kind of gauge my speed because I can't really see what it is. Once again, I'm not going to not going to worry about those hangars since they could potentially be bugged. I'm just going to park on the surface and get out and run down. Which means if I want the ship, I'll have to come back out and grab it. Okay, 15 kilometers away, right in that little depression is Levski. See that the interference is causing an issue with my instruments, my heads up display. I don't think that's intended, but they did talk about how they want to do that around, uh, you know, ionized gas and whatnot. All right, almost there. Yeah, so you can you can totally tell a difference though, just looking around here. Just look at look at the cockpit. Like this is this is way different than the other ones we were in in terms of style and and how it works and things like that. Okay. Let's come in over here. Hey there! On behalf of the People's Alliance, welcome to Levski. Name's Eslin. I run the hangars here, which is great for you because you're probably looking to land. Okay. Let's just make sure that. I don't have anybody underneath me. Yep, this is a good place for me to put down. Go ahead and do that. Flipping through that a little bit. Let's go forward. Just a hair. There we go. Okay, good to go. We're good. Out. So this is neat. I've never watched me do it like this. You can see that I'm turning off some things and uh getting ready to get out of the cockpit that's that is really cool that is a really fun animation i've never seen that before Ooh, i like that yeah <clears throat> like i mean you see it from first person but i've never seen it from the outside i need out let me out there we go all right i gotta run I gotta run run oh, oh it's making me do it correctly damn it okay i may have rammed my ship into a, another player you may have well, we'll pretend that you didn't. Okay. It was right. a bizarre accident involving um, a couple of bananas and a comedy pair of glasses. Right. So what he's referring to here is uh, server-side OCS, object container streaming, means that only areas that you're active in are, are actively on your machine and rendered and you're using CPU cycles for. On the server side, they don't quite have that tech ready to go yet. They're still working on that. So that means the server has to calculate everything just like our clients used to have to do. So it's much more in it. It's much uh, less efficient. And so let's say that nobody is on like a part of uh, yellow right now. That means that it's still calculating everything that's going on there. So once it can stream that out, that'll be a lot better for everybody. So is it, if, what is it, shard occlusion that they're doing? Uh, <coughs> kind of, yeah, exactly like that. Okay, cool. Like you, you right now, I only have to load Levski, which is why I'm getting 35, 34 frames per second. I got you. Know, you. Here, where I used to get five, because I'd have Levski plus everything else, and there's always a ton of people here. Here, you can see here's a party of of collected citizens. <laughs> Feel bad for you, gentlemen. All right, but I've I've got a date with a with a chick. She might be missing some limbs, which hey, I'm sure that there's there's ways around that. Not sure she. I'd want her to wrap her legs around me like that, but uh, you know. <laughs> well, if this guy's AFK, I'm I'm taking you with me, man. Raphael's just mentioned that the servers are struggling a bit. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's still a lot of optimizations that are to come down the road, but this has been a big one. From five frames per second to 20, well, while streaming on the same PC, I'll take it. I think the fact that they're making consistent efforts to optimize as they go, that's very important. A lot of uh, game design relies on creating the content and then optimizing at the end. Um, so it's good that they're trying to basically cut down on their uh, their end workflow by doing everything uh, that they can at once. Yes, I got her. I got her first. All right, let's watch this, guys. Hi there. I don't think I've seen your face around these parts before. We get Damn a fair right. bit of traffic, but I make a point of knowing who's who. What brings you around? I am uh, looking for work. Ah, then you'll be wanting to see me. Name's Reco. I see to the boring, fizzly bits for most of the miners work in the area. Dig site claims, equipment orders, or transfers and the like. For most jobs, the terminal will set you up. But if you're after something with a bit of air on it, best to talk to me direct. If you'd like, I can see to setting you up with something now. Nothing too big, but it'll let us see how we feel about working together. Sound all right to you? Sounds good. Great. I'll take a scan through now. I, I don't think so. Look at her leg. I mean, this woman has seen some shit. Uploading the contract to you some now. stuff. Yeah. Well, we're already we're CPM'd. I'm screwed. Okay, so oh, okay, so we have ore sample deliveries. Interesting. So she gives us ore deliveries. Cool. That's one or two, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I'll take this one. It doesn't tell me how much they are. I'll accept that offer. What do doesn't you show. Doesn't show up in there. So. Perhaps there are dependencies on. Um... Forget it. Crap. Did I, did I just lose it? No, oh, come back to me. Come back to me. I don't know what just happened. I think I screwed up. What do you say? I say I want it. I said I wanted it. Damn it. Wasn't sure if you'd be showing up again. Oh god. I appreciate a hard worker. Nice work on that last job. Oh sweet, she liked it. I I got it done. <laughs> Alright. Let's get down to business. Let's see what I can dig up. Yeah, show me what you can dig up. Uh Smirk says there was a mercenary type of quest on the left. Are a bit slow My bad. Right now. I'll keep you in mind if anything Fuck. turns up, though. <laughs> t t just to hell with it. CPMs are in the toilet, and I'm I'm legitimately upset now. Okay, so we'll we'll just do the mercenary quests, I guess. We got no nothing else to do. I'm gonna have to go through tonight and really decide what I want to do with my uh, with my Toto account because I, sure I... You'd be up again. oh <laughs> just bugged again. I appreciate a hard worker. Unless somebody else showed up. See. Is All she right. talking to someone else? Let's get down to business. Let's see what I can dig up. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have accepted that quest. Unfortunately, things are a bit slow right now. I'll keep you in mind if anything turns up though. Alright, whatever. I'm sure since I clicked on her like fifteen times, there's still gonna be a bunch. Let's do a security threat. Oh yeah, security post uh, Korea. Go ahead and do that. We'll accept that. All right, we need it. We need to run out there fast. So she's got ore hauling. So that's cool. So that's kind of like uh, shipping. It'll be shipping quests and stuff like that. Probably through dangerous areas. So you might even want to have an escort with that. That'll be a lot of fun. I, I'm a big fan of uh, playing space trucker. I quite like the um, the kind of like the multi crew concept of being a hauler. Kind of you know you get that kind of B fifty two turret feel. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> or in my mind, it's always a Lancaster bomber because you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep up the British end. Oh man, yeah. Just remember that from James Bond. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Tolo Seven, what are you doing? Keeping up the British end, sir. Yes. Of course. All right. 
trying to get up there to my ship pretty fast. This one might be bugged. Fingers crossed we get where we're supposed to go because... Uh, How are you finding server latency between pressing buttons and actions occurring? It's not been a problem at all. Um, Great, that's really good to hear. That's that's not been an issue. I think I might actually legitimately be stuck in this uh, elevator, oh, though. Battlemos has told me off. B-52 apparently doesn't have turrets. I thought how, I thought, I thought how, it did. How, how about a B-2? Does a B-2 bomber have a turret? I, I thought I the know B they have... Yeah, I thought the B-52 had one in the back. Because that's kind of what the Millennium Falcon was always built on, because that was uh, what Lucas wanted. Uh-oh, I'm totally screwed. I, I'm stuck in here. Uh-oh. There's there's no other oh, way, guys. Just... I just had, I had to shoot myself in the face. <laughs> so, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> We'll stick with the Lancaster then, Moose, shall we? Oh, th there's there's at least 50 players. Well, I think 50 players is what they're going for in these servers. But, uh... Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So this, this is different. There we go. Okay. Um, uh, work with me here. Well, okay. Like I said, this is an alpha. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, are. there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear God. I thought I could shoot myself in the face again. But this actually worked out really well for me. By going back to Port Alasar, it's much closer to where those missions are. Oh. Come down here and see see what other ships I have available to me. Uh... I can claim it now because it's destroyed. Pay the expedited fee. Get it back. Now, since we're doing a mission... Uh... I don't really have... I have... Okay, we'll take the uh, we'll take the Anvil Hornet. Yeah, not my favorite ship. It wouldn't surprise me, Jesse, uh, if they do various controlled tests to see what the cap can be per shard. <clears throat> so what I would expect them to do at some point is once they've got the core features that they want for this particular uh, segment for 3.3, uh, I would imagine that they'll do some stress tests to see how many players it can handle. Yep, uh, it's it's likely that they just recently flipped something on in the background because I went from being able to access all the ships in the game, even if I didn't own them, to only ships that I own. So something definitely uh, changed on their back end with their account. This is the F... 7C Anvil Hornet. This is the uh, this is the single seater version of this. There's a single seater and there's a uh, two person with a turret in the back version of this. Um, it's kind of like the default fighter for the UEE. Enter the pilot seat. A lot of people have these. They kind of remind you a little bit of the uh, you know that 14 Tomcat. And uh, the, the cockpit's very X-Wing-ish. It comes with ballistic guns, which I've always thought was a huge, huge drawback. Oh, I haven't been in one of these in a long time. I don't even know where oh, any I of like the stuff this. is. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... Here's the eject. Don't pull that. That's bad. Yeah. There we go. This cockpit's gone classic. through. Yeah. yeah, see, it, it feels very X-Wing, doesn't it? Just with the struts and everything, It'd be like R2, keep us together back there. I don't know why, but I, I can kind of imagine myself in you know, you know the fighters from Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Yeah. I can just imagine this as being the internal canopy of one. Okay. I can see that. So here it is on the outside, so we can take a look at it real quick. And you can see it. It, it kind of has that like B look to it, where it has the big rear end that goes up there. Um, there's different versions of this. There's a stealth version. There's one that can hold a little bit of cargo in the center. You know, I I, I think I need to calibrate my joystick because I have no idea why this is uh, why this is moving side to side. It shouldn't be. That's actually that's that's not intended behavior right there. So that's kind of a problem. Have you got a slight twist on in your Hotas at the moment? I don't think so because the, the twist is the Z axis. It's not. It's just moving in Y for some reason or in X. Sorry, I don't know why the X is moving. But that's actually, that's a side thruster that's firing. 
you can see that's why it's rotating. Here. Let me uh, see, that's not what the problem is. This isn't what the problem is. Oh, here we go. Maybe, maybe that'll help us. And then if I go all stopped, are we gonna be stopped? No, we're still rotating. Uh... It's weird. Anyway, so this is this is the Anvil Hornet. We'll go ahead and take those mercenary missions with that. Hopefully, hopefully we can still get them done. All right, PDC moniker. We're gonna go ahead and pull up our quantum. And prep for that. So here we go. We're setting the jump to light speed. All right, R2, punch Ooh, it. Yeah, the, are, uh, the people are hopping out some nice comments there. Uh, Battle says it looks a bit like the Excalibur from Wing Commander. That was a, yeah, yeah, good call on that. Yeah, like that's it. probably exactly what they were going for, actually. All right, so here we are. We're at uh, Yella, which is my favorite of the planets, actually. It's got this really pretty ring. I think this is out. Maybe it's selling. I don't know where the hell we are. Just just pretend I said the right thing, and that's that's what we'll do. All right, so we can go ahead and get out there to that EDC monitor. Here we go. Prepping for the jump to security post Korea. We can go in there, too. Your destiny lies with me, Skywalker. I don't know if I have. I don't know if I have any shots in my pistol. You should definitely be careful whenever you go here. Right, let's make sure that contract is up. Back. So what do I have to do here? Uh, okay, so I have to I have to hunt for the the skimmers out there and find them. I've done this one before. This is actually a pretty fun mission. And the other thing I want to do is come down here and get our guns ready to go. Hopefully I have guns. I quite like the UI in the Hornet as well. It kind of it gives um, me that Wayland Utani feel. Yeah, I don't think we have any guns. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it definitely definitely does. See down here, I Let me look at the ship again. I have the guns on the wings. Oh, okay, since this isn't the Super Hornet, I don't think I get the guns in the front, maybe. Or maybe they're just not installed. There's definitely a hard point right there that doesn't have them. So I'm going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage. You can see I just flew past the station. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find these contacts I need to find here. So there should be, around here, there should be a little little orbiting things that are sending out data and I need to find them and blow them up but the thing is once I do you gotta be careful because there's there's very limited ammo in this uh, once I do the pirates are gonna try to attack me and stop me so I'm just looking for them I don't know how to scan I wish I could Alright, so we're just going to fly uh, around here till we find it. You try cycling through friendly targets, possibly, or enemy targets with T, or uh, is it R? If I had any contacts, though, it would tell me. Because it, it says immediately, mm, like, contact. True. Yeah, you're quite right. Uh, th there's a scanning function that they have been um, talking about for a while. Talon says, hit tab to scan. Thank you so much, Talon. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Okay, now what? Oh, that's cool. That's really crazy cool. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, you Look can, at that you first can of all. Again. That was <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I, I don't know, am I supposed to hold it down? Okay, so I, I did a hundred percent scan on that. I don't have any targets coming up. This thing is this thing is freaking awesome though. I mean that that is a really neat thing. Oh, I, I don't I don't care at all. <laughs> I mean, oh, there's one found. Uh, no, that's that's really far away. You see that? 
like 400 kilometers away. Yeah. There you go, there's a monitor down there, that's good. Alright, I found one. This one, this one's... Uh, Young said something fairly similar. He said try scanning near the planet because he, he's quite right, they are close to the planet. Alright, I found one here. Oh, shit! <laughs> They they are very hard to see, especially when you fly well, into them. I suppose you took it out. I I, I don't think I did. <laughs> Th this bug is fantastic, though. I want to okay. always like reload and and see everything like this. This is why you have a loading screen, but for some reason I'm not getting them right now. So I get to see all the all the jank. <laughs> oh, close your eyes, guys. Seizure warning. Battling seizure robots. Okay, there we go. Oh my! Oh, you, you know, is... you know all of the. Uh, well, I don't. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty bad. You know, all the articles that are written about, uh, you know, Citizen Con that are negative, really do not matter at all. You have to keep in mind that the same people that are bitching about this game are going to be the first ones in line to play it whenever it comes out. They thrive off of calling us, you know. All kinds of names, cultists, and all that. But continuously, yeah. But continuously, like CIG has proven that they're they're working on it. The game is cool, and uh, it's something I want to play. Let's see if I can claim this now. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I, I claimed it. Very good. So uh, four minutes until we get another Origin 600i. So hopefully that one won't be broken. Right, my man. I may have to leave you to the remainder of your stream alone, I'm afraid, uh, because it's it just it, it's about quarter past four in the morning, so I'm about <laughs> oh to drop. My. Oh my! <laughs> All right, but at least you have uh, you have Star Citizen now, so you can start doing some content on your channel as well. I can help yeah, you with any yeah. ships that I have that you need, and we can share some footage and whatnot. Well, absolutely. I'll, I'll get to a little bit of playing, and then hopefully I'll get those badges that I need, and uh, uh, sooner or later I'll be able to man a turret for you. Oh, that'll be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the multi-crew aspect of this is the most fun. I had a crew of uh, five or six in the 600i when it first came out from my Praxis group, and we oh, had a really it. good time with that. All right, so here is another one. Like uh, This is the new delivery console right here that you see right in front of me. So <clears throat> what will happen is you can uh, you can drop off your mission items here and get paid. So that's kind of nice. We used to have to that's drop to them off paid. with this guy, which I guess you could still do. Okay, Tim. Well, uh, that's right. me done for tonight. Uh, folks... Uh, for those of you who are watching, I hope you have enjoyed my little interruption of Tim's stream. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to, to Intrepid Dawn. Make sure you like the video. Do all those other cool things that people do. Um, support him on Patreon. Buy him, buy him a TV. Buy him a couch. And good night. Okay. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Guys, that was Gull Survives, in case I wasn't uh, clear about that. He has a channel, Gull Survives. It's also in the link of uh, my friends in on my channel page. So if you go on the right-hand side, you'll see a link to his channel. Please check that out. He does amazing sci-fi content. Uh, one of the reasons that I definitely got into YouTube for sure. And uh, pretty excited about that. Two minutes on this. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Good night. No problem. You have a great night. Yeah, so it, it's kind of it's kind of funny because uh, he just went to bed, but I've come full circle. I, I initially started off my, uh, you know, my sci-fi gaming adventure watching Gaul and uh, watching his watching his multiplayers and while well, I played games, and then I was like, you know what? One day I decided, yeah, I could probably do this. I could have a lot of fun making content for people. And next thing I know, you know, I, I'm friends with the person that I used to idolize. We we uh, talk on here. We stream together, and that's just amazing to me that the uh, global community that that this can uh, this can create. So I'm more than happy to get him Star Citizen and get him involved. Yeah, awesome. Subscribe to Gull for sure. He has all kinds of great stuff. Where I try to focus very uh, very specifically on Star Citizen and Stellaris, he does all kinds of sci-fi games. So definitely check him out. He's also a modder on the uh, Star Trek. Your destiny lies uh, with me. Star Trek Armada 3 mod for Sins of a Solar Empire. Thank you, Drew, for becoming a member of the community. Welcome to the channel. All right, let's go ahead and go straight to flight ready. We'll do something with this thing. All right, are we ready to launch? No? Yes? Yes, no? Why are we going so slowly? 
All right, landing gear retracting. Landing gear raised. All right, so this is the uh, this is the Valkyrie. This is one of the brand new ships. This one went straight to flight ready because this is a Squadron Forty Two ship, which means that it uh, it's good to go. So let's go ahead out there. We'll go back out to that monitor and. All right, we're calibrating now. And jump. Oh yeah, I totally get that, Raphael. I mean, like, we, we have that on a small scale with my Stellaris games, because we, we make updates to the pack all, all week long that we use our mod pack. And sometimes it uh, doesn't work out for people because they can't download it in time. All right, there we go. Go ahead and jump over. We should be okay. I, I think that this ship should still be able to handle it. But this ship is so sexy, I, I don't even know if I want to get rid of it. But I, I really want to go back and take a look at my uh, packages here when the um, anniversary sale comes along so I can maybe make some changes to... Uh, to it now this time since i can actually see it on my scanner let's let's pull this up now i didn't, I didn't even know that you could do this this is kind of cool Your hey Raphael is now a member of the intrepid community Scott. welcome will be one to be if your subscriptions are public lord vader will of course welcome you to the channel all right so we're we're boosting in here i don't want to run into this one but i do want to destroy it for my contract which hopefully is still up there let me just make sure yep I would think that this would be timed, but it appears not to be. Which I'm okay with, because we would have failed by now for sure. Okay. Uh, Sam, you're banned, bud. I've had enough of you. All right, you guys couldn't see his stuff. Okay, here we are. Ah, let's let's not run into it this time. There it is. I, yeah, I don't know what is going on with that. I do like the uh, the combat system here. So this is Aegis, and it, it's the same manufacturer. Not Aegis. Uh, this is Anvil. Same manufacturer as the other ship that we were in. Second or two ago. Can I even hit that? These guns are absolute crap. You know what? What did we learn from this? We learned from the other ship that I can't hit anything essentially with this. So what I'm going to have to do is jump out. And get in the turret and see if I can blow it up. We'll try this, and if this doesn't work, we'll try the main gun or see it. Uh, the gameplay loop is probably pretty good. Um, I'm having some problems with it right now because I don't have the ships necessary anymore to do all of them. Let's go ahead and enter that remote turret. I'm sure that there's got to be something else I'm missing, like a switch. Maybe. So I saw that they did this on CitizenCon. Maybe it's not 100% in, or like I said, maybe there's maybe there's something I'm missing. So usually you click on these and they work, so let me try the other one. And if that one doesn't work, we're going to get into one of the top turrets. Oh, crap, we're going backwards. We're 3k away from that. I couldn't hit it from here if I wanted to. Let's get back up there. I screwed up. Missions are working pretty well. I'm the one that's the problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm the weak link in this. Crap. All right. Let's go forward. All right. So we're going back to, to catch it. Maybe, maybe once again, if I can get it on my targeting. Oh, shit. We'll stop. Oh, God. We're going to hit it again. Hopefully this... I, I, think it, I think that is definitely... I think that one is broken probably for me running into it last time, actually. 
That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I, I think I hit this one. This is what happened. I hit this one so hard that I have knocked it out of its orbit and it's just bugged and flying around. So I have pretty much ruined this mission. All right, we'll close this mission and see what else we can find. You can see how far away it is from the security post now, too. Um, oops. <laughs> My bad. You're Crazy for hire. Is now a member of the Intrepid Elite. Welcome to the channel. One news to be true. Let's go into our accepted and we will uh, abandon this. See what's available for us in the mercenary wire cutter. Okay. I'll accept this after. It's uh, near Grim Hex, so we have to go to Grim Hex. Go ahead and do that. Alright. Go ahead and get ready to jump to yellow. In three, two, one, initiate jump. All right, we'll watch it from this because I, I think this ship is sexy as hell. I really like the curves of it. I, I think that it has a nice look. here so let's go ahead and find Grim Hex which is now over here looks like because this planet's rotating it was on the other side when we came in before all right making the jump fingers crossed that we can shoot things in here I'm gonna have to organize some play testing with a bunch of other people so that we have a fully loaded out ship I think that would be awesome if we had everybody in the right spot. Alright, now we're going to pour ourselves into Grim Hex, and then we'll go look for those scanners. Um, I don't know what's up with that. I Apparently I can't scan in this ship. I'm hitting tab and it's not doing anything. Maybe it doesn't have a scanner, which is totally possible, I guess. Alright, so we completed our objective to go to Grim Hex. Now we need to locate and destroy those skimmers. Like I said, probably easier if we're not in this ship. In fact, in that case, it might be even better for us to maybe... Ooh, if I if I don't slam into that. Go land... Let's land in Grimhax. Let's go into Grimhax. I'll switch over to like a freelancer. Of the ones I have left, that's probably the best option. So I'm looking for the station. Not 100% sure where it is. Okay, you can see that there's a uh forward proximity alert. I'm trying to see with my lights what that is. There's supposed to be hangers here too. I don't know if they ever made it in. Alert. And a racetrack. Port proximity alert. Oh jeez. Here it is. It's right in front of us. Okay, so essentially what I have to do is I have to calm them. To get a landing pad. Let's go to our comm link, contacts, Green Imperial Landing Services. Okay, they don't want me to land? Guess what? I'm landing anyway. That pad 01 looks perfect for me. Go ahead and put out the. Okay, we landed. We're good. I switch over to a freelancer anyway. They can scan for sure, but I, I do love this ship. I think it's pretty sexy. Can't wait till I can uh, not hurt myself like that. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna put away my ship here. There we go. Alright, so they put away my ship. They didn't like the fact that I was blocking it. Just make sure we can get it back. 
<laughs> we can't even get it back. Alright. They impounded my ship, so I had to file an uh, insurance claim. But here we are. This is Green Imperial Hex. We'll go back down and I'll show you guys this. I don't think that I've been here in a while. At least not since 3.3. That's new, as far as I remember. <coughs> like it. Looks like it had a bit of a lighting pass in here. Uh, yeah, I'm not not willing to use that elevator. <laughs> Looks like it's it's broken. That's definitely uh, a bug. That's a fun bug. Oh man, I love that. It's like exploding the geometry of it. Keep in mind, like I said, this is an alpha. This is hilarious whenever you see some of this stuff. I didn't auto land that. I, I I slammed it into the uh, the deck on my own here. Wow, look at look at these. This is this is fantastic. I, I'd love to know what's causing that. It, it's like it's like dark energy is pervading the station, and we're all gonna die. Part of the reason for coming here was actually to uh, to go to some of these shops. What do they do here? Uh, so we can put cargo in our freelancer if we want. I was I was under the impression that we might be able to buy something that's uh, my widow and bring it here probably. I think Laronite might be something that you can resell, but there's nothing that they have here that I specifically want in my freelancer. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a that's a nice intentional touch, isn't it? This is actually why I came here, because I want to get some new clothes. This is where you get all the cool stuff. They're very anti UEC, if you can't tell. And this dude over here, I mean, needs to hire somebody to clean his stuff up because, yeah. It was worse before, too, if you can imagine. All right, first of all, I think that these blue ones are pretty freaking cool, so I'll buy those, these hardy boots. All right. I also kind of like the jacket. Um, looking at some different ones here. I really want something that feels pretty cool. So that's the one I had before, that Arctic wear. Range finder. Interesting. Here we go. What is this? Outwear Ash. Outwear Tactical. Let's try that on. What does that look like? Let's see, I still have my flight cap on, kind of A-wing style. Y-wing pilot style, maybe. It's not bad. And actually, that looks pretty good. In fact, I, I'm going to purchase that for sure. Let me go ahead and get that. Confirm the purchase. Exit. Looks good. Hey, House of Mana is now a member of the Intrepid Elite. Elite. Welcome. Obi -Wan needs to be true. Try this on. What's the Selby look like? Oh yeah, the tried and true. Try that again. Uh, it's not letting me move. All right. Here we have the Arctic version. Oh, the Celtic or Selby Arctic. Not bad. Okay, good stuff. And then you have different hats you can use as well. Whatever. Crimson. Right on the crimson. Can't actually make it work. Uh, my crime stat is uh, going up again because I, I landed my thing there. All right, very cool. He's watching me closely. We gotta get out of here. All right, so this is this is Grim Hex. I mean, there's a, there's a few other things here you can get. Um, different types of armor that aren't available anywhere else. There's a bar right here, which is kind of fun that you can go into, and it's it's a little bit of a seedy place, but there's nobody here right now, which is... Actually, this would be more scary for me than anything else. That's how you get lost on the station, by the way, too. Let's pick a direction. Oh, here, check this out. This, this is an Easter egg. 
Okay, so you come in here, and it's like this old, uh, old style place that has like nothing. But if you come in the back, see this? Okay. And then if you click this, it's this. This terminal is experiencing technical difficulties. We apologize for any inconvenience. <gasps> oh, does it not let you do it anymore? I wonder if you had to like get another mission or something to do it, but it used to be if you turn that on, this, this guy's face would just be there looking at you no matter where you went. It was the it was the like freakiest thing. I wonder if I have to do something else in order to fix that first. Um That's that's cool though. All right. Oh, it sometimes pops them on, so I'll just keep trying until maybe it does. Unless they, unless they changed it with 3.3. .3. This terminal is experiencing technical difficulties. We apologize for any inconvenience. All right, we'll try one more time because they might have changed it in 3.3. .3. I don't remember it ever. This terminal not is experiencing technical difficulties. We apologize for. Yeah, sometimes you see that guy's face, which is just really. Freaking weird, but cool. Like weird and cool. All right, so we're we're out of here. Let's go get our freelancer. I don't know if I want to use this elevator or not. See if it actually comes down. Oh, okay. It, it's it's here supposedly. So fingers crossed. And this is cool that we can watch it go up too. I don't remember if the top was open like this before. Maybe I just never looked. But it, it really adds to make it feel like a, uh, a real place. I like that. Rather than a lot of games where you go in and it takes you to another instance or whatever. Let's go ahead and grab our freelancer. Alright, Blue Vegeta, you have a great night. Sorry that I missed your message, sir. I'm, uh committed to checking this out and uh, haven't been looking at the chat as much as I should so I totally apologize for that. I forget which landing pad it put me on. I wasn't even looking. Did it put me on a pad? Was it here? Yeah, here it is. This has got to be mine. You can see somebody ejected in their in their cockpit seats right there. That's hilarious. Hopefully it won't be a problem for us. This thing just barely fits. Now my uh my headlight's not working. Let's, let's get in here and at least turn on the light so we can go take a look at it. Power it on. Hello. How can MIS help you today? There we go. We're out. And uh, let's just make sure. Yeah, I do have a. I do have a helmet on. That's good. I guess this this helmet may not have. Hey, Matt donated two dollars to Captain Guitar, and thanks for the vids. Matt, thank you so much for being a Patreon and a member of the Captain's Crew. Um, I have your Admiral right now as Admiral Calrissian because that was the auto-generated name. I didn't want to use Admiral Revenant for both series because I figured that that might confuse the viewers. So let me know if there's an alternate name that you want me to use for your Imperial Admiral. And I'll be happy to do that. So you can you can let me know here or Discord or just message me on Patreon, whatever you're comfortable with. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, that is actually the first donation we've had for the month of October, so I totally appreciate that too. Let's go ahead and turn on the engines. Engines on. Engines on. All right, launch the ship. Launch sequence complete. All right, put in the landing gear and we'll come out here into the sun so I can show you guys the ship. All right, so this is why I like this. We're gonna go ahead and lock the gimbals as well. Oh, this thing, there we go. This thing has huge, huge guns. A couple of those, and uh, it's it's all over. All right, now that we're in the sun a little bit, let's go ahead and stop completely. OK. 
Huh? Take a look at it. So this is the Freelancer. This is a ship that you use for cargo. This is kind of like a starter cargo ship, essentially. Uh, fairly well-armored, decent cargo space. This is the, You use this, essentially, to move up to something a little bigger. Maybe a Freelancer Max or onto one of the Hall series. But this is a nice mix. It can do it can do a lot of different roles because it has enough maneuverability and whatnot. You can see that. Your favorite ship in Star Citizen. Welcome, Joe. Or John. Good to see you, John. John, do you have access to 3.3? You really need to put it on your SSD, though. So you can see in here how this works. It's pretty cool. All, all the ships are different. Like, uh, the, this manufacturer, MISC, is actually a human and alien uh, alliance, so it's not just a human-based design. They have these really shiny hulls, as you can see. That's like their hallmark of, of what they do here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gotta fix it. Okay, so we're, we're still looking, I think, for those targets. Let's see if we still have the mission. No, it's gone. What else do we have? Yeah, I'm not dealing with her again. Um, Alright, so we can actually do delivery missions now because this thing can take on cargo, so that'll be part of it. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, it's on... Dusters need taken to... Alright, so there's a blown-up constellation, and we need to get out there and... Uh, get it and then take it to yellow. So we'll go ahead and accept that. That actually sounds awesome. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The wreck site is uh, pretty far away actually. So what we're going to do is I need to get around the planet so I can make the jump. So we'll see if I can find an OEM station that I can jump to. Uh, no, I'm looking for an OEM station on the outside somewhere. Something that'll allow me to clear the planet at least. Maybe they should be out here, but I don't know why I'm not seeing them. I guess technically I could jump to one of these edge stations like the ARP core. We'll go ahead and do that. It won't put me in atmosphere. It should be good enough. All right. Hopefully that'll allow me to clear the planet. That's closer. And it's kind of like now we're like the Death Star. We got to clear the planet before we can. Uh... Oops. Just waiting to get my. Uh... There we go. Now I got to clear the planet again before I can get there. So let's see. Let's see if there's something else I can jump to on the edge. Uh, yeah. Like this orbital st satellite. This is what I was looking for. That will allow me, there we go. Now I've cleared the planet, and we can make that jump out there, maybe. I stress maybe, because maybe I just put... It's on the, uh, it's on the fracking opposite side. How horrible. All right, we'll figure this out. Let's try that. OEM3, this is what I was looking for before. Thankfully, I don't think these micro jumps actually cost you anything. There we go. Now I can do a straight jump to that site. So let's go ahead and find out where it is. It's probably it's probably at Delamore. Yeah, they almost always are. Let's go to the quantum beacon that I have available for me here. Set the route. Clear the route, set the route. Okay, it's not going to let me go there. I'm going to have to go there and then quantum over. Makes sense. All right. In. There we go. We're spooling up now. Calculating, got to make it through all these asteroids. And jump. Let's go ahead and watch it from the side. 
It's such a good looking ship in my opinion. It's like a mix between the Firefly and uh, the Planet Express, essentially. Uh, th those are the inspirations I see for it. Got a long way to go, so we're gonna go all the way out there. We're gonna EVA out, hope that I still have my stuff. Oh, yes. Hey, Tobolith donated $20 to Captain Katarn. Don't forget your Kraken registrations. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any interest in getting a Kraken, you have to register for that ASAP. So thank you very much for reminding me, Tobolith. I will make sure that I put it in the Discord tonight. But you have to register on there for a chance to get it, and the reason that they're doing that is because uh, in the past, automated resellers would buy all the cra all the uh, limited edition ships and then resell them on the black market, essentially. But this way, RSI can make sure that you get what you're looking for without having to pay through the nose. It will be pretty awesome. Now I need to uh, need to find that quantum beacon. Where is it? Here it is. Set the route. All right. Good to go. Thank you very much. Break the Katarn. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to mine some spice with this ship. Oh, this isn't a mining ship, but I, I did have one. I, I melted it. I, like I said, I need to completely rethink what I want to do in the game during the con or during the anniversary sale, which is, should come up a little bit later this month, and uh, really figure out how I want to align my fleet. Like, I definitely want the Carrick. But if it's going to be really far away, it might be better for me to uh, move away from that package that I'm using right now. I had like a Carrick and a couple other ships and, and switch to ships that I definitely know I want for today. I don't know. Bellicose. I like it. Admiral Bellicose. Very well. Yeah, you should definitely check it out. Those uh, There's at least four Imperial and four Rebel. Uh episodes that have gone out with cinematics and stuff like that that I think that you'll really enjoy. Here we are. We're going into the, the wreck site while we're doing this. Uh, actually, we're coming in way... Oh, crap. We're coming in way too fast. Full, full reverse. Oh, geez. Let's not run into any of it. Okay. That's, that's the danger of uh, not having a fighter. I'm so used to being able to stop immediately. Okay, so these are the goods. We need to go out and get them. And it's also very likely that I may not be alone here. Either other players or NPCs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move us in. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna go all st I'll stop, get quiet. Okay. Very good. I think the gameplay is gonna be amazing. I've been waiting for vegetation for a long time. Alright, we need to uh, hope that my pistol is enough. I don't know if I have anything else. Let's see, did I did I keep any weapons? Yeah I did. Okay. So I have a Pathfinder, Energy Sniper, no. Uh, here we go, I have the Custodian SMG. And I have my Arc Light. We'll go ahead and put on my Arc Light pistols now, let's see. I have one of these. And I do have a uh, Custodian SMG. Okay, save changes. There we go, so we at least have something. I don't have any armor, unfortunately. Well, I do have the I have the voyeur. There we go. Let's also change the undersuit to the Voyager. There we go. And the helmet. Yeah, we get we gotta gotta look look the part. All right, now I look like a Playboy adventurer. All right, good to go. So what this means is that I actually have my There we go. I got 60 shots plus my pistol. Let's let's switch over to that and make sure that it's ready to go. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh then you sh this is definitely the time to get in here because the performance has never been better. A little concerned about this. You can hear how loud my ship is. That's gotta be a bug. Oh, 
shit. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy got spaced. Little constellation. Poor sod. Alright, so we're looking for the goods. Hopefully somebody else hasn't got here first and taken them out. Can't open that, apparently. There's another guy. Explosive decompression is a bitch. I should have turned off my engines because they, they are loud. Alright, here they are. The goods. Should be able to pick that up. Okay, I grabbed the goods. We got them. Let's go back, we gotta deliver them. We gotta get out of here before somebody realizes what we've done. Thank you very much. Alright, let's get back in here. There we go. Now I can just place this down. All right, so that's good, it's secured. Close the door. Turn off our light. All right, we didn't run into any pirates right now, but I don't think that, that our luck's gonna hold. So let's quickly make sure that we're powered up, shields are on, and where is our route? Where do we have to run this to? Delivery drop-off is at, uh, it's at Port Al it's at Yella. Okay, set our route for Yella. Is it really just not going to let me delivery drop off to yellow? Come on. Okay. I think I think we're good. Uh, it's it's still a little buggy. Doesn't always work. Am I stuck in a loop? Oh no, now I'm stuck in a crash. What just happened? Oh, uh, disconnection 3000. Okay, so whenever you see this, this means that your server went down, usually. And uh, that also could mean that they're about to put out a new build. Because keep in mind, they have, I think, five studios now all over the world. So Star Citizen is essentially worked on pretty much 24 seven. Somebody is somewhere in the world working on this game. Which is amazing, because you, you figure that like when the people in LA are, are signing off for the day, the people in Germany are actually uh, starting their day. And so it's it's likely that we're going to get a new build. That's probably why I have a bad token here. So we'll go ahead and go back. So this is a perfect time for me to end the stream. So I hope that you guys were having a good time with that. That's the kind of gameplay that we're going to do. So tomorrow I might do another stream where I, I just do those uh, delivery missions, because those are kind of fun. And that, that's something that I really enjoy, especially because right now I have to completely overhaul what my ships are. So until I do that, thank you very much. A little buggy, absolutely. It's it's an alpha version of an alpha game. I mean, it's it's the cutting edge of what they have available being thrown out there. Um, but I'm not worried about the bugs. If anything that they've shown, their progress is amazing. And looking at the trailer, I don't know if you know what the Maro tour was. But it was the first time we ever saw Squadron 42. And it was like on par with Mass Effect Andromeda with rubber faces and, you know, very, very basic on a lot of levels like that. And then then last year we saw the vertical slice a little bit with Mark Hamill, you know, and, th and that was good. And we were OK with that. And then now we saw the quality level that they're going for with the Squadron 42 trailer that came out. And that just blew me away. So give me one second. Let me see. Maybe maybe we can watch that together. In fact, that would be a great way to uh, to end the stream. So give me a minute here. I'm going to pull over the Squadron 42 trailer, and we're going to watch that together, because that was super inspiring. I enjoyed it. All right. Second, let's go uh, up here to Star Citizen. Uh, I wanted the actual... Damn it.
Here it is. Citizen, uh, give me two seconds. I'm going to put this up here. All right. Pause it. Once I get confirmation that this is working, why is my display capture not working? Is Star Citizen still running? That's probably it. All right, give me two seconds, guys. Sorry about that. Turn off the cover page for you. The properties. Display zero. Yes. I'm going to try to reboot it real quick. Let's see if doing that works. Okay, uh, for some reason it is not actually letting me do it. Let me try the display only. Let's see what that does. I have a couple different ways I can do this. But it doesn't look like it's picking it up. Okay, so I, I tried. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll just... Uh, download that and play that for you guys next time so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the stream don't forget to hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing my name is captain katarn this is intrepid dawn and i will see you in the verse you guys rock